welcome to Disney on Wheels. I started this morning off going in for my second day of testing to the Auton Auto I can't speak the autonomic department um, at the NHNN um, and today's test was a prolonged tilt test. Now if you've got um, any autonomic problem or postural static tachycardia syndrome you will probably have had a tilt table test. Prolonged tilt table test is basically that, it's prolonged, it's longer, it's horrible. <laughs> it's, no, it's not that bad. Um, I did want to film it, unfortunately I wasn't allowed, um, even though you're, you actually filmed during it for their purpose. Um, so, but I wasn't allowed to, so I'm just going to talk you through what happened. Um, so I got there and um, I went to the HNN day clinic, day, so the outpatients um, clinic where you start your mornings when you come for these tests. And then they took me to the uh, autonomic unit for this test. Went in with a lovely, lovely doctor. Um, she took a very, very detailed history. Um, took the times that um, when I first started having symptoms, when it got worse, when I had my first diagnosis, everything like that. Um, like I say, you are filmed. Now you can choose what happens to that uh, footage. Um, obviously they film you during um, to note down any um, uh, symptoms if anything happens. Um, after that um, they ask if they can use it for research purposes and for teaching purposes. If you don't want that to happen then you just say no and it will get destroyed. Um, I don't mind. I, you know, they want to use it, then that's absolutely fine. If that teaches more people um, about the autonomic system, then wonderful. So, right. So, moving along to the test, what happens? First of all, you lie down like a, any normal tilt test. You're not strapped down at this point. Um, so, she asks you to lie down for five minutes just so you can relax, chill. Then you um, <clears throat> stand up on your own. So basically the poor man's tilt table test. You stand up by the side of the bed. You, she gives you a stool in front of you to hold on to. Then you stand for five minutes. Um, she takes blood pressure reading. Then you lie back down on the bed. Now at this point she attaches all the ECG leads, blood pressure cuff, a... Um, like a blood pressure cuff around your index finger. Um, so not like the normal O2 saturation clip. It was like a blood pressure cuff and you could feel it pulsating and then after a while my finger went completely numb. You know like when you wrap a piece of cotton around your finger and it just goes dead at the end and purple. That's what happened. It didn't go purple but it did go dead. So you have all that attached. So to start with, you are asked to do activities lying down. You have certain tasks to, to do. Now, first one was a relaxation breathing um, technique where you just take nice deep breaths and it's very relaxing. And all the time you're doing that, then you take blood pressure and then you finish another blood pressure. Then the next test was squeeze test. So what you get given is sort of uh, a semi-inflated um, squeezy thing really. And what you do, you have to squeeze it to a certain point and you have a dial next to you. You have to keep it at 70 on this dial. Um, so it's not squeezing too hard, not letting it go, but you have to do that for three minutes and hold it. Then at the end your blood pressure is taken again and your heart rate is monitored throughout all of that. Then the next test was another breathing test.
test this time it was actually causing you to hyperventilate so you sort of breathing very fast sort of <laughs> you did that um for 90 seconds now that doesn't sound long but when you're doing that trust me it's it's long <laughs> my throat went so dry but that was fine um what was the next one next is um was a breathing portion what you have to do is take a really really deep breath in you have a tube that you have to breathe through but there's a resistance it's on the dial again you have to push and push and push and breathe like really push your air out um so like a, a what do they call them breathalyzers <laughs> sort of like that but really and you're pushing it till you feel like your head is going to explode um and it i don't know how long that was for it just seemed like i was blowing for ages and you ha i had to do that three times twice lying down and then the third time i was on a 20 degree angle um so there was that one and then you sort of rest in between each of those uh what was next can't remember i knew i should have wrote them down <laughs> um then she checked my uh veins because she needed to take blood for the next portion because when you stand when she tilts you up they have to take blood um so then she found a suitable vein they don't put the candula in there and then they wait until you stand so then came the time that i was due to stand so we did that uh very difficult you're standing for such a long time you get all the symptoms of pots um i got very very hot i mean literally the sweat was rolling off me uh my legs had gone purple um because i had to stand for 40 minutes you are attached to the to the bed to the table so um you can't faint or fall um but my legs felt they were gonna felt like they were gonna explode as i said they were bright purple um there was so much pressure there was so much pressure in my head um very dizzy very lightheaded sweating profusely um didn't actually faint which is called sod's law when you're having the testing for these things no blackout at all <laughs> on there uh, but she said that didn't matter just you know they get enough of the readings oh i just thought yes lying down there was also another test where she covers your hand in ice she has this big ice mat straight out of the freezer and she puts it around your hand and you have to put that in for 90 seconds as well now that doesn't sound too much but that hurt like anything the pain after was unbelievable and again she takes blood pressure during after and continually heart monitored heart rate is monitored so yes um, going back to the standing so once you have been standing for 40 minutes then they take your blood um they take your blood and watch then they take enough blood to try and provoke some more symptoms make make it really bad for you um, but also they need to test the blood as well um and then at that point it's over she lowers you back down so you can have a rest um final blood pressure and then she takes all the monitors off and then it's just a case of slowly getting up slowly getting back to <laughs> feeling like a human again it just did take a while um and then then that's it and then that was me done for the day so it was okay it i'm not going to say it was okay and it was lovely because it wasn't lovely it was very hard i mean if you have an autonomic problem and you have pots you know it's horrible but it's worth doing to do this extended test to get the type of pots you've got other you know testing the whole autonomic system tomorrow's test is on a tilt table again but it's um the digestion portion of it 
you are fed a very thick milkshake made with full fat milk so if you do have a problem with milk please tell them they, they will ask um, and you are asked to drink it's got like a, like a complan vanilla mixture in it so it's like a big thick food substitute so you have that and then again you're monitored lying and standing to see what happens um so yes but i'll tell you more about tomorrow when i've done it there we go i hope you found it informative i'm sorry there's no footage of it um and obviously i'm back in the same room tomorrow so i'm pretty sure i'm not going to be able to film again um so yeah sorry <laughs> i did get a little bit of footage i was allowed to film in the corridor so i got some of the the corridor for you which is exciting <laughs> all right then take care and i hope this was informative if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and i will really try and answer everything i can for you okay take care bye